Pretty Good Magic by Kathy East Tubowski and Mark Tubowski. A step into reading book. Step two. The town of Forty Winks was a nice, quiet place to live. Folks got up every morning. They went about their business, and that was that. If there was a fire, they put it out. If something was broke, they fixed it. And if the newspaper came out late, no one really cared. There was never much any news anyway. Then one day, Presto the Magician came to town. <coughs> that night, Presto put on a show. Everyone was there. Slowly the curtain opened. Presto stepped out into a bright circle of light. Get ready, folks, he said. The show is about to begin. Then Presto did his tricks. He was not a great magician. He was not a bad magician. Presto was a pretty good magician. He turned three scarves into four. He made a deck of cards fly. Only two fell on the floor. He even sawed a woman in half. And after only three tries, he put her back together. I have one more trick, Presto said. It's not my best trick. It's not my worst trick, but it's my favorite trick. I always save it for last. He tapped his tall black hat with his magic wand. <coughs> Nothing happened. Presto looked into the hat. Poof! A cloud of smoke blew up in his face. Now that is more like it, he said. Presto put his hand into the hat. And he pulled out a rabbit. The people clapped, but they didn't clap very loud or very long. Thank you, Presto. That was pretty good magic, said Mayor Huck. Then everyone went home, and that was that.
Presto walked back to his hotel. He felt pretty bad. Pretty good, that's me, Presto said sadly. Just once I want to do some really great magic. Back at the hotel, Presto opened his book of magic. He read page after page. Then he found it. The trick was called Rabbits by the Dozen, Presto said to himself. If one rabbit is pretty good, then dozens will be great. Presto held his magic wand over his tall black hat. He read from his book of magic, calling all rabbits and all their cousins, Rabbit Cadabra, dozens and dozens. Presto tapped the hat with his magic wand many, many times. Nothing happened. The hat just sat there. Now Presto felt really bad. I'm not even pretty good, he said. I am awful. Presto turned out the light and went to sleep. Then something strange began to happen. The hat began to shake and shake and shake. A rabbit hopped out, then another, and another. Dozens and dozens of rabbits hopped out of Presto's hat all night long. The next morning, Presto was snoring in bed. Something tickled his nose. Something tickled his toes. He opened his eyes. He could not believe what he saw. There were rabbits on the bed, rabbits on the floor. Rabbits in the dresser drawers. Rabbits were everywhere. Presto jumped out of the bed. I did it, he cried. I made dozens of rabbits appear. The trick worked. It just took a little time. Tonight, I will put on another show. Wait till the people of Forty Winks sees this. Presto raised his magic wand. Okay, rabbits, he said. Let's get back in the hut for now. Nothing happened. The rabbits just sat there and twitched their little pink noses. Oh no, said Presto. He looked in his book of magic. It told how to get all the rabbits but it did not say how to get rid of them. Presto tried everything. He said the magic words backward. He made up his own magic words. Nothing worked. I have to get rid of these rabbits. I have to get them out of here, he said. Took three trips in the elevator to get the rabbits downstairs. Presto's van was parked nearby. He rushed the rabbits out of the hotel and across the street. Screech! Beep! Beep! Screech! All the cars stopped and honked. Look at all those rabbits, everybody shouted. Forty Wings had never had a traffic jam before. Presto sat down. What a mess this was. Everybody was laughing. Mayor Huff stuck his head out the window of his car. He was not laughing. This is a nice quiet town, he yelled. It is my job to keep it that way. These rabbits will have to go and so will you. Mayor Huff's dog was in the car. All the noise made him very nervous. Bow wow wow, barked the dog, and away he went. The rabbits saw the dog too. They got nervous too. 
Away they went. Come back, dog, shouted Mayor Huff. Come back, rabbits, shouted Presto. But the rabbits just kept on running. Presto jumped into his van. Now he had to catch all those rabbits. Presto found rabbits in the coffee shop. They took up all the seats. He found rabbits in the bank too. Stop! shouted Presto. That is not lettuce, it's money. Presto found rabbits in the shoe store. How cute! a lady said. Little bunny slippers. She tried to put them on, but they ran away. There were rabbits in the department store. They jumped up and down on the beds. Everybody laughed. See, the sales clerk told the crowd, our beds never lose their bounce. There were rabbits at the movies. Your ears are in the way, shouted the usher, but nobody cared. These rabbits are funnier than the movie, someone said. Presto even found rabbits in school. Children were laughing. So was the teacher. We had so much fun with your rabbits, she said. Then Presto put the last rabbit into his van. He started to drive away. Wait! Somebody shouted. It was Mayor Huff. All the people from town were with him. Presto, I was wrong, said the mayor. Your magic is not pretty good. Your magic is great. Forty Wings has never had so much fun. We want you to stay. Presto said, I would love to stay, but what will I do with all these rabbits? Presto looked at all the people. He looked at the school, then he had a great idea. The very next day, Presto opened the Rabbit Cadabra School of Magic. Everyone in town came to learn Presto's tricks. He taught them how to turn three scarves into four. He taught them how to make a deck of cards fly. He even taught them how to saw a person in half and how to put them back together again. For the student's very last lesson, Presto taught them his favorite trick of all. He showed them how to pull a rabbit out of a tall black hat. When they learned that trick, they got to keep the hat and the rabbit. Now everyone in 40 Winks has a rabbit of his own, and every single rabbit has its very own magician. The end.